This video provides an overview of cross-functional governance and the ability to address functional silos within planning and performance management processes. In a separate video, we provided a detailed description of the maturity model shown on the right side of the screen. It provides a more detailed description of the capability gaps addressed by integration-enabled process of improvements shown on the left side of the screen. The title of this YouTube video is shown at the bottom of the screen. In this one, we'll focus on cross-functional governance. More specifically, we'll focus on the capabilities that comprise the gap between current state processes and those that are required to overcome functional silos that can undermine performance and strategy execution. During the video, we'll highlight these capability gaps in more detail as summarized on the left side of the screen. We'll also identify specific incremental capabilities that address these gaps, ones that enable more mature forms of process integration. The problem facing complex manufacturers is that their strategies and value propositions are typically based on superior horizontal execution, but they plan, manage, and govern their business along functional lines. What often results are unclear accountabilities and decision rights for delivering planned business results. The foundation for addressing this problem is matrix planning. This capability enables organizations to plan and manage the business from both functional and business process perspectives. It serves as a key integration point between functions and business processes by providing business process costs that are regarded as accurate because they are always reconciled to budgets, forecasts, and the general ledger. A key enabler of matrix planning are planning models that integrate financial, operational, business process, activity, and supply chain planning processes. This is represented by the capacity planning graphic on the right side of the screen and is addressed in a separate video. Matrix planning provides the foundation for trade-off management, a capability that provides a key integration point for balancing financial and non-financial targets and measures. In this case, the cost of the order to cash process is used to derive cost per order targets. In turn, these higher level trade-offs can be translated deeper into the organization. Collectively, these capabilities provide the foundation for effective cross-functional governance. This is because they provide the basis for process-based accountability and decision rights. People can be held accountable for productivity targets versus fixed budgets because the data is credible and accurate. What's more, rewards can be based on managing trade-offs versus individual metrics. By doing so, it provides the basis for a formal optimization mechanism that ensures that one metric isn't being achieved at the expense of another. But more importantly, it provides the means to entrench process thinking into how organizations plan and manage their business. This is because business process owners can be formally engaged in the strategic, financial, and operational processes that organizations use to plan and manage their business. The absence of such capabilities is one of the primary reasons why initiatives like operational excellence, continuous process improvement, and sustainable cost reduction fail to achieve lasting results. In fact, processes supported by legacy financial tools actually undermine these efforts because they reinforce functional silos, primarily because they offer no meaningful alternative to traditional functionally based budgeting processes. These capability gaps were the focus of the article shown on the screen. It confirms that the absence of effective cross-functional coordination and governance is one of the primary factors that undermine strategy and business performance. This video provided a brief overview of cross-functional governance. Further details about the capability differences can be found in the YouTube video shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please use the contact information provided on the screen for further details about its contents or how we might be of assistance.